brought it to an Indian audience with an international appeal. The challenges I feel is always to be authentic to the world. Well, I guess that must be just a coincidence. I haven't seen Kerala's story, so I won't be able to uh, comment on it. Girl like you and I, who want really simple lives, but sometimes we might not end up in Syria, but we do end up in really trapped situations. Hi, this is Mohit Rana, and you're watching me on Zoom channel. Hi, this is Bhav Dhulia, and you're watching me on Zoom channel. Hi, this is Kashmira, and you're watching me on Zoom channel. Hi, this is Amina Sheikh here on Zoom channel, and with me today, I have a bunch of freelancers, so welcoming them on Zoom channel. So starting with you, Mohit, with you, Bhav, and along with you, Kashmira, when was the first time you all were on a freelancer job? Oh, well, uh, I was a freelancer before I met uh, Mr. Neeraj Pandey. <laughs> I was uh, I was doing a show independently and uh, all of a sudden the plug got pulled out and I was independent again, pitching <laughs> everywhere. And I got a call one fine day <laughs> by a friend, huh. by uh, Ritesh Shah, who's written the show. And uh, he told me to come and meet him somewhere. So I went and I went there, and as I went there, I saw the posters of Wednesday special chappes, oh, yes. uh, baby, and then I said, then and Neeraj sir was sitting inside, and then <laughs> inside, <laughs> yeah. and then my life was very different. But I was a freelancer before I met him. Uh, oh, well, I think we are, we have been since the time I decided to be an actor. Since then, it's been a journey of the freelancer. You know, trying to convince everyone that we know our craft, we know our job, this is where our heart lies. So I think it's as soon as I landed in Bombay, the shoes of a freelancer were on. Well, I came to Bombay to become a designer initially. So I was in NIFT and right after I graduated, I freelanced for a while as a designer. And while I was also uh, trying my hand out in acting. So maybe yeah, that. Never thought that the term freelancer would be used for such a special operation. And, you know, as I was talking to her offline also before this interview, that such things happen, you know, the, what is happening in Syria is something which is, it's, it's bizarre. It's something you don't even think of. The kids are anyway like, you know, they're dying. And not only in, you know, in Syria, even in Afghanistan, you know, for that matter, women are trapped and all. You know, bringing such things into notice why entertainment is something which is important. But sometimes what happens is, such stories when brought via entertainment leads to a lot of commotion, you know, in the reality of it. So did you have these thoughts while, you know, working on this one? See, uh, this is a story, uh, a fictitious, partly adapted from true incidents, from, adapted from the Ticket to Syria written by Shirish Tharar. We've expanded on it, we've embellished on it, uh, we've adapted it. To say that it's one universal, uh, uh, we've taken incidents from all, all, all over the world and brought it to an Indian audience with an international appeal. The challenges I feel is always to be uh, authentic to the world. Uh, the struggle of women in conflict zone has been going on for thousands of years, you know, uh, throughout history. It's been a section of society which has always struggled. Uh, it's been the conflicts you spoke about have been in the news for the last 15, 20 yeah. years. That's why they've become prominent. You can a universal kahani, you know, of someone trapped into the world. That is, uh, that's been the same throughout. You know, what makes it unique is A, uh, how we are trying to show it in a very authentic and realistic manner. This is the first time you'll get a glimpse inside the ISIS world. What makes it unique is how you will see the first time an Indian mercenary who operates in this area. You know, this, uh, you, we usually uh, see people from uh, attached to government organization, RAW and IB doing all this. But here is someone who only does this for money, who is not attached to anyone. Uh, that is the combination of it. The responsibility is always to seem authentic, to seem real, so that the people find the story believable. Mm -hmm. Right? Move it to you, the movie was also compared when the trailer came out. It was being compared to the Kerala story. Uh, there was a lot of comparisons on those lines. What I, what do you have to say on this? Because sometimes what happens, we are trying to make a movie on a, on the same theme, but it comes across as if, you know, it's following the same path. Well, I guess that must be just a coincidence. I haven't seen Kerala's story, so I won't be able to uh, comment on it. But I know for a fact that our story, Freelancer, is based on a book called Ticket to Syria. It's by Mr. Sirish uh, Thorat. So I think uh, it's a fictional story that we are trying to uh, tell over here. 
and uh, Neeraj sir has been telling this and dealing with these stories for a very long time. He believes in uh, making this espionage world uh, uh, believable. He believes in entertaining the audience. So I play uh, Avinash Kamath, who is an assistant sub-inspector in Mumbai police. And just because he has promised uh, something to his buddy cop who has been serving with him for a very long time. And unfortunately, when he comes to know that the girl, that his daughter is in trouble and she needs help, he comes uh, to save her because he has just promised his buddy cop. So I think that's, uh, to sum it up, that's the, that's the story for us uh, uh, of the freelancer. Uh, having said that, yes, uh, these things might be happening at some point of some, uh, some, at some place in the world, uh, there's no no uh, calms and issues about accepting that this is reality. So I guess, but we are in entertainment business and it's our job to entertain people. And having said that, we, as I said earlier also, we are making it from an entertainment point of view and we are, uh, it's based on a book by Mr. Shirish Thorat. And mercenaries like Avinash Kama, they do exist in international format as well. I think for the for the first time we'll be seeing him in Indian format, and especially in uh, in digital, I would say, uh, series perspective. This is a first of its own ext human extraction story uh, based in India. I I would say in, in in Indian storytelling. I don't think we have seen it in a series format. We would have seen it in films uh, for, uh, for sure, but not in series uh, format. So I think it's a great great. Uh, story which will come out on 1st of September and I think uh, the best part is it's believable. It's not something which is going to be unreal or people won't really, uh, uh, you know, connect with it. It is uh, uh, very believable. Kashmira, when it came to your own role, uh, it's quite spoken about right now because you also play a 21 year old who gets married and there are some statements, you know, being made by your mother and that is what is catching attention. Do you also feel sometimes the conservative side, which we try to, you know, portray, you know, uh, of the society, it's taken otherwise. The focus is what happens in reality, but when you're trying to focus on that subject, it gets trolled or, you know, there is some other outrage around it. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, what you focus on is, um, is pretty much the, the audience who's focusing on that. We here are telling a very different story. We are not here speaking about any any particular subjects. We are here talking about a book written by Shirish Thorat. And there is a beautiful journey that is beyond all of this, you know, that something so unbelievable happens to a girl. It doesn't matter uh, where she's coming from. It's about a girl like you and I who want really simple lives. But sometimes we might not end up in Syria, but we do end up in really trapped situations. But it's the faith that you have and the courage that you have that uh, emerges. And because of that, somebody like the freelancer comes. In fact, I always relate this to how I have been trying to make it in the industry. And when you're not from the industry, you try to work with certain people. You know, you really wish that. But you just have to keep going and keep hoping. And then someday, Neeraj Pandey will uh, give you a chance. So for me, it's that journey of undying hope to hope. Coming to you, Mohit, uh, you have done very different roles for that matter and you have also played army-based roles. You are yourself, you know, aiming to be an army officer. So if you had to tell about your journey that side, how was that for you? Uh, oh, yes, obviously, you know, because I come from Kashmir, so while growing up, I had all these army people, so I was surrounded by them all the time. So I was fascinated by the way they look, the, the, the weapons they would carry, the... the, the uh, you know, the, the android they were traveling with, you know, big, big units like 10, 20 trucks going uh, at one point of time. So I was quite fascinated by that world. So yes, after I, and it's, I think it's, it's, it was after uh, Kargil, War, Kargil War had happened, I decided to be a part of NDA. But unfortunately, because of my vision, I was not able to go through. But I think I'm one of those fortunate people who's getting to live that dream over here in, in, in real world, uh, getting to wear the uniforms differently. And I think that's what acting does uh, to you. It makes you, it takes you into an unreal world where you can, you know, fulfill all your real uh, dreams and you can uh, live those dreams. So I think I'm blessed here, yeah, getting to play different, different characters. At times I get to play, um, uh, I would say, a, a, a journalist. I get to play a, a doctor. I got to play somebody who's from the hospitality background. And at times I get to play a mercenary like this. 
definitely uh, series like these get uh, rarely made they are not made very often because it's a subject which uh, which needs a global platform it's a it's a it's a subject of a huge big scale it it's it's not a something that can be dealt easily with you know there's a lot of pre production that goes into this there are 300 400 people who are involved in a, a, a project like this so i feel lucky to be an actor in today's time because i think 5 years uh, 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 before 5 years you know, from now you know i don't think anybody would have dared to touch a subject like this or there was not in the platforms a digital revolution hadn't happened so subjects wouldn't be uh, touched upon but i guess nowadays because the reach is such the digital revolution has happened ott has been a game changer disney plus hotstar are coming in and you know pumping in all their guns blazing so i think it's great great place to be in to all how was it like working with the newbie the fresher anupam kher since he doesn't like to be known as the legendary actor yeah i think uh, for me to i have been fortunate enough to know him personally beforehand but professionally at this uh, i did get an opportunity to spend a lot of time with him so it's a great learning experience uh, we have been watching him since years today i came to know that he has to be precise he has finished around 540 films and he has been working for 41 or 42 years now so the kind of experience of life and of acting that he has it's 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 huge so you just learn uh, by looking at them just observing them that's something that i i i observed I was very intimidated at first when I came to know that he's playing Doctor Khan. Uh, he had worked with Neerat sir on various projects. Exactly. When he was coming on, I was like, they already have a relationship. What will be the equation like? But when I came on set, his demeanor, the way he puts people at ease, uh, he becomes like you mentioned, an 18-year-old. Mm. You know, he becomes one of the guys, uh, and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, he, he, his energy is like. a debutant actor obviously the experience of so many years <laughs> but the way he acts and the way he puts you at ease and uh, the best part about veterans like him is uh, you don't have to over brief them they understand the part it's 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 much easier to work with them you know but uh, it was uh, a great privilege to work with him what about you kashmir bhai so the first time i met him was in the office and of course when you always want to work with you know certain people and when you see them it's no bragging in the beginning it's like uh, okay what do i say to him but he's so kind and so polite and he has this child like attitude which i love because i think we might sound dull but he won't you know <laughs> even today during the interviews he was the most lively and the most chirpy person that was there and it was lovely to see me in the poster with him and mohit mohit you also enjoyed yourself while shooting for this one Sometimes you take your acting skills very seriously. I must say that, like you completely got into the character. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't this, this time around. The scenario wasn't such. But yes, while rehearsing, uh, I think before we were flying to Morocco for the schedule, I had a small injury. But because it was the last moment, we couldn't really help. Uh, we couldn't do much about it. But yes, I mean, it's the part and parcel of the game. You know, to you at times these things happen. Uh, but you, for sure, when I was there. Uh, trying to nurse my knee also and trying to work also i knew that this is the opportunity that i don't want to miss i knew that i'm not going to come back to morocco for such a big schedule for such a big series under neeraj pandey's guidance so uh, you f- tend to forget everything and kind of just uh, dive deep into uh, avinash kamath's shoes i don't know if you're being humble or you're we're not supposed to talk <laughs> about it but it was not a small injury okay. he was really in pain and we could see that and after the shot he used to like you uh, go in a corner and like when yeah but you but the, 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 you know deep down that you are not going to get the chance again you are not going to be playing freelancer again in morocco so uh, but i was ha- like hats off freelancer yeah, really thank cool you, thank and you. not about freelancing the last question to you is that you have taken a free you know full time job as a father yes. you have just celebrated your birthday also with her yes. how is fatherhood turning out you uh, oh it's fabulous that should god has been kind you know I, i i start my day by looking at her i end my day by looking at her exactly. so i think it's it's one of the best feelings you have to become a father i am spending maximum time with her enjoying this phase my my friends did advise me guide me that you know they they really go fast so try and spend as much time as you can so i'm doing that and uh, yes i i now my duty is to do good work so that when she grows up she can you know look at the quality work that his father has done and be proud of it so fingers crossed and lastly to all of you what are your upcoming projects you're working on 
after this. So I have two projects in the south that I'm working on and I'm really looking forward to the freelancer. I'm working on a feature film. Okay. That's all I'll say. Go ahead. Do you like <laughs> to reveal something? Well, I have a three three project contract with Mr. Neeraj Pandey <laughs> and Bhav, <laughs> oh. so I do, I cannot <laughs> talk much about it. You're but exactly maybe, on the lines of Anupam Kherji. <laughs> I must say that he is my mentor <laughs> yes. in the series, so I am taking his uh, advice very seriously. Yeah. I can't uh, talk much about the film that Bhav spoke about, okay. but yes, I mean you'll see it uh, taking the the, the it will come out very soon. Well, thank you so much for a lovely time and it was lovely interviewing all of you for Freelancer. I'm looking for something Freelancer after this. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, so, thank, you. thank you so much.